in the shop I haven't been here for a while uh, been a bit busy with work uh, just trying to sort some stuff out um, picked up a few other cars and just life in general um, but today we start two projects uh, obviously you can see blue collar in the back there um, money constraints on that I'll probably gin about with it a little bit but not a heap so we uh, start two new projects so, uh, I've changed around, I've been um and ah on what to do with this. Um, I love the body style of it, but I like the body style of older trucks more. So, the, this is becoming a donor. Uh, so, L300 front end, which is what the D50s are, they're just an L200, which is the same as the L300. Um, 245 Hemi and we've got a body out the back that you've seen a little bit of but not a whole lot of that will be going on to it so this will be a, uh, a series of builds a series of videos for the builds um, what we'll do is so I will be running the uh, uh, this to a point where it's got the motor and the uh, truck sitting on it and then i'm going to switch to the 46 which is out here um and then i'll put the motor in box do four link and um sorry the two bar and the ladder bar for this so uh, this is one of the projects and the other one i'll show you in a second so um, same thing, 245 Hemi, except this will be a truck motor and a four speed. So that should be pretty cool. Um, and I'll just show you the other one. And this is the second one here. Uh, so this is Penny. Uh, it's a 42 pickup. Um, it's very, very unusual for it not to have. The rear quarter glass in the uh, bed here uh, this is the only one of these I've ever seen um, in real life and it's I've only seen two or three pictures of this car previously um, like of the car uh, of one of these cars sorry um, so yeah that's going on the um, D50 chassis uh, 245 Hemi 5 speed <clears throat> so it's uh, got a little bit of work to do as you can see so um, the front guards punched in um, which isn't too bad I'll get that out reasonably easy um, the top here it's a bit as you can see there's a fair bit in there but it won't take me long to get that out um, and then just straighten the door up a bit other than that she's pretty clean and tidy um, I don't have a light so I can't really show you, oh, no I don't even have my phone, but I'll show you the interior a little bit better when we get to it, um, yeah it's pretty cool, like I said it's a pickup, uh, well side back, um, got something pretty cool planned for the uh, back of it and it obviously needs a tailgate, but yeah she's really really nice you um, I'm pretty keen to build it uh, and it'll be awesome to have a matching pair so I'll uh, rip into this cab and I'll um, yeah I'll rip into the cab and I will get uh, sorted 
Uh, first video will be us ripping the cab off the D50 chassis so we can start getting organised to put the body on so that way we've got a roller and then uh, I'll probably do like engine mounts and stuff like that. So anyway, I'll uh, keep plodding along with the video and you just can have a look at uh, the progress we've got going this week. I'll pull this engine out now, I'll pull the bonnet off so I can start getting to the engine. I'll chuck you on time lapse and uh, So, I just thought I'd show you this. I reckon I know why she's at. Some of the reasons she's no good. Uh, I reckon with a wild stab, that's probably not ideal. She is blocked, chocker block full. I reckon with a wild stab, she's got a head gasket. Go on. Uh, but, yeah, no, she fucked. She's no good. If you can see that, she's chock a block full of gunk, which is not ideal. So, yeah, anyway, I'll get back. So we're just going to knock together some wood car stands. Um, I've seen them on the internet and I don't have the money to go and buy some other stuff. I've got a heap of timber here, so I'm just going to knock together some uh, car stands to lift the car up so I can get underneath and pull the uh, uh, linkages off and the clutch cable and a few other things. So, right up, I'll get into that and I'll uh, hand you over here to Emily so she can do some filming. Righto, so we just screwed them together, screwed one side together and stacked the other side. I don't know how they do it, I'm gonna YouTube it and find out, but it's got it off the ground. So I'm pretty happy with that. This one's literally just stacked, it's not screwed or nothing, so I'll screw that down before I jump underneath of it. We'll make some for the back and we'll be able to get it right off the ground and I'll get underneath and do what I need to do. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go It's a lot, it's every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They deceive with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do Oh no! That one. What? Right, so we've got one bolt to undo. So we're going to have first attempt at trying to rip this out. World's longest 14 mil bolt. All right, she's off. Where'd you put the rest of the bolts? Over here. So, obviously safety first. So we'll do a double half hitch on this, not just a single. Not for the win. Oh yeah, should be right now. So now that that's on, I've got alternator wires to come off, and we are very, very close. Oh, that's tighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, Ten mil. Eight mil. Then just a plug. So I've got an eight mil there, and we're just about done. All right, like that and that. You didn't take the earth off, I'll get that now.
course, it doesn't fit underneath the tank frame because it's too low. So, here we are. Careful not to scratch your paint and stuff, you know, all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, spilling all the oil on the ground. That's what we want to see. Now after spilling a great lot of mess and stuff going everywhere, all done. Afternoon, uh, we're back from a rush trip. Um, I got offered something that I've been wanting for a long, 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 long time. I had to swap one of my cars for it, um, which I don't really care because of what it is. Uh, it's a 76 D5N. 114 so short wheelbase uh, step side the step side beds and everything's in the back of the uh, underneath the bonnets and that so yeah we're just going to roll it off the trailer now 245 hemi uh, yeah took the cruiser over the big tow pig she loved it so yeah we've got all the parts we've got everything we needed thanks to justin cheers bro a fucking car that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, this is going to be me daily, so we'll probably hop onto this reasonably soon. Yeah, I'll get her off the trailer, and tomorrow it's getting a bit late, and I've been here for a while, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get it off the trailer now, and I'll throw it down, and we will uh, go over it tomorrow and give everyone a decent look. But as usual. Mopar and Oka, Dodge is where it's at. Morning, new day in the shop. Uh, got the, uh, got back last night, about 8 or 8 30 or something. Showed you a quick little uh, look at the uh, AT4 we picked up, or D5N. Um, yeah, so I'll show you a look at it a bit more now, and we'll pull all the parts out and put it in front. So here she is. Uh, cab's not sitting on right, it's not bolted down or anything, so we've still got to do that. Um, yeah, so got a few things happening there, and we'll rip in and get some stuff done. I'll chuck you up on time lapse now, and I'll lay all the parts out here in front of it so we can see what we got. And we'll go from there. I'll chuck you up here on time lapse, and I'll uh, get cracking.
see by the time lapse, we've got all of the parts. Uh, two bonnets, the rear tub guards. So I've just got to build the tub, visor with cab lights, a few bonnet uh, latches, etc. Uh, a couple of lights arounds, another steering wheel. Uh, the front guards, which have already rubbed back to bare metal, which I wish they left white, but it is what it is. Uh, two doors, windows and everything wind up, they all work good. Just a little bit of rust in the uh, edge of the door there, which we can cut out and do. Uh, there's the bonnet we're going to use is that one. Um, probably use the seat that's in it rather than these ones. Uh, as you can see, so it's a D5N, but I've got a AT4 front clip for it. Um, <laughs> so is what it is, it's what I've got. So we'll use that. And then I'll, uh, I've got the doors and guards that match the um, AT4 front clip. So, <coughs> excuse me, it was originally uh, yellow, but they've already rubbed it back and uh, yeah. So we'll make it work with what we've got. Um, so it's a 229 D5N, Dana 60, um, six cylinder. So another 245 going in it. I don't want anything special. I literally just want a daily driver. Should be good. We should go back together reasonably easy. The cab's not bolted on yet. So we'll bolt it on and make it happen. Uh, I'll go through all the brakes and everything. And yeah, this will be me daily. So nothing fancy. Just a patina truck, exactly what I've wanted for ages. Um, so get it in, get it back together, build the tub, get it registered, and hope someone doesn't steal it off me. So yeah, that one's going to be a bit of a war hanger. Um, it's like a stock feed company on the side, a local one. So that should be neat. Uh, and then we've just got this one, which we'll use. Get it, let it, let it up, a bit of Ashwood Fab Shop on the side of it, send it. Okay, we're back here. Um, just a quick recap, sort of showing over. So we've got all the parts there lined up to the left of the camera, or right of the camera, sorry. Now, uh, have a bit of a gaze. As you've seen by the time lapse, it's all uh, in the video. We've got heaps of parts for it. So I think I'm going to, uh, because the caps have already pulled off, it's already unbolted. I think I'm going to, uh, instead of just putting it back together quick, I think I am actually going to rip it off and uh, fix any rust that I find, give the chassis a paint, and probably paint it underneath and a few things. I'd still like to leave it patented on the outside, but. I haven't really worked out what I want to do with that yet, so I'll wait and see. But I'll show you a bit of rust and stuff. So, there's been a repair here before that they've just skimmed over with bog. They just haven't hit it out. I'll um, get in there behind there with a dolly and get that straight and sand that up a little bit nicer so it's a little bit nicer. Um, they've had a go at trying to fix the roof too. Um, that's pretty horrible. A bit of silicon in there which if you know anything about cars, silicon is not your friend. Um, so yeah, I'll sand all that up and wire brush it and make it all nice. Clean out that booger weld and a few other things. Um, the cab floors are actually really good. Um, I'm yet to find any real rust in here. There's, they're all pretty solid actually. As far as I can tell, there's actually no rust in the floors, uh, which is a miracle. Um, I shouldn't say that because my Julie has it, no rust in the floors. Um, as usual, the cab corners were gone and they fixed them and then bogged them up, just here. So, and they've uh, fixed along the back here too, uh, the whole way across on both sides um, I reckon 
They may have had a gold paint in this before. There's a fair bit of bog in it. So we'll see how we go. Um, I've just got to decide whether or not I want to, um, how far I want to go with it, whether I uh, sandblast the whole cab or just the outside maybe. It's just a bit of surface rust because they put silicon and stupid shit on it. So I'm not one of these people that like to put silicon on it to fix stuff. We're going to do it, do it properly. Don't mess around. Um, around the window on that's not too bad, as you can see. Uh, there's a few rust spots starting to come through on the inside here, which just need a wire brush and a bit of a trim, but because that's actually a, uh, a hole in there, like a catch area, um, it rusts through, like right there. It rusts through because it's double skinned. Um, so, yeah, we'll get in there and clean that all out and make sure it's uh, not wrecked. Um, I'll probably put some rust inhibitor in there just to stop it. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll have to make a glove box, which I've got another one of them panels with a good badge on it. So I'll probably cut that panel up to make the glove box, um, which is here and all there. That's easy enough done. Um, and then, yeah, if we, um, if we paint it, <laughs> We'll go blue, won't we? Go blue or white if we paint it? White. So we'll go white and then I may patina it again. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but it'll be all sign written with scrolls and um, do some uh, uh, pinstriping and stuff on it. But I really love the patina on the front clip. The bonnet and the doors all have the same patina on it. So I'm. Don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just wire brush the everything and just give it a quick go over, make sure there's no rust, and then sort of just do it all in the shed rather than sandblasting it. And I think you guys would rather see that. So, yeah. Um, haven't decided what motor I want to put in it yet. I've tossed up a few ideas. I've got a motor and box sitting there, but it was planned for the 46, but I could always go a diesel in the 46. Um, because it was always either a 245 Hemi or a diesel. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll already have two diesel four-wheel drives. Uh, this one and another project you just haven't seen yet. So, um, they will both be four-wheel drive and diesel. And another truck will be diesel as well. So, it doesn't really worry me. But... We'll see how we go. I do have a rear bumper for it. Don't have a tub as such, but got the tub guards. And I have a perfect uh, chrome front bumper for it sitting out the back. So yeah, she's a rig, kind of in love. She'll be good. But I will uh, endeavor to uh, try and get a few things sorted and uh, make it so we can start this project reasonably soon. I want to try and get it all started and sort of uh, half worked out before Christmas. So yeah, I want to try and get something done so over the Christmas holidays I can rip into it pretty well. But I'll keep you updated on what I'm going to do and yeah, keep watching the videos. This will be a new series. So we'll go from there anyway. Just remember, don't be a sheep and follow your dreams. We'll end this video here. Ashwood out. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit